is a hard surface and it looks to me as if it'll have even bounce and good carry through to the wicketkeeper. I'd be batting first if I won this toss. This is a batsman's pitch. I'm amazed that he's chosen to bowl first. It's firm, there's no real covering of grass. I think the bounce will be even. I'd expect a lot of runs today. have made their way to the middle, here come the players too. There's not much to choose between the sides at this stage of the game. Alongside me in the commentary box is Richie Ben. Andrew Strauss is taking guard. Well, that was six as soon as he hit it. Never mind the fielder, the bloke in row 10's got the best chance of catching that. It doesn't matter if it's in the air when you hit it that far. That's gone for four byes. Oh, my poor wicket keeping, we have to say that. Four byes is such a gift for the batting side. That was a no ball by Bond. Oh, it's a monster. There's the umpire signal, no ball. Beauty and four runs. Four from the moment he hit it, there's a skill in that. Picking the gap is a skill. A comprehensively bold. I don't know whether he just lost the line of the ball or something, but I mean, it's gone through back pad and done it easily. Vaughan waiting at the striker's end. Out in the middle now is Marcus Truscoff. The bowling side are now allowed more players outside the ring as the fielding restrictions have been lifted. Exciting player. There's risk in that stroke, but it is maximum. That's cleared the boundary. Six runs. He struck two sixes now off this over from Martin. to hit it and it's six yeah that'll do it that gives them an excellent win in this important limited overs fixture well on behalf of richie venno and myself we bid you a very good evening and we'll see you next time for more of our very special cricket coverage